Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is your CNCHD and we are back into the super weapon challenge this time. We should fight against General Ling if I'm correctly. Let's find it out. And we are fighting against General Ling. Don't worry, I have disabled the voice volume so she will not talk while I'm talking because it is very annoying. So we can here through the whole video my voice and not her voice how damn good is this <laughs> okay for the strategy um i have never tried this strategy out but i have a brilliant strategy in mind the thing is if you destroy all of her important buildings like the command center the production production facilities and the dozers then she will be defeated and I'm going to build auroras and with those auroras I'm going to destroy all of her important buildings very fast and I hope this will work to finish off this challenge very very fast and let's see curious to know if this is going to, is going to work so let's try it. Um, first I'm going to build a lot of infantry units. With those infantry units I'm going to block the bridge on the top to her base. Then she cannot get through with all her units. And against the mix I have the Avengers. Um, so she will not have any chance at all. Let's try this. Of course for this you need to be there to be very fast to get this, uh, to work the strategy but should be fine okay those rangers here uh, will go to your base once you have built the barracks make some improvements. Um, if you do not build the barracks then those rangers will not Loud move to your base good okay so the supply the Barracks I will build two barracks. The more the better. And in a few seconds those rangers are going to move to the base here. But for this I have a special defense. Because I'm going to use my dozer for the defense who's going to kill all those rangers on the bridge. Um, I'm also going to capture those oil directs very fast for the extra income, very important. And I'm going to set my barracks on a hotkey. You do this with holding the CTRL button and pressing a number. Then you can select your buildings while you are away from the map. Okay, the rangers are not going to move. This is strange. But we do not care about this, all we care about is infantry. And they are going to move. My dozer is getting into position, my ranger is getting the hell out of this position. Because those rangers do not like this ranger. So this epic dozer is going to do this spam. Good. Okay. Um, here for the defense I'm going to build only one EMP against the Helix and the sneak attack and the Gatling tanks and so on. So this one EMP will be enough and a few troops against the two Gatlings and the three or four tank hunters. Okay, my Derek is being captured. Once I have enough units, those tanks here will fall. They do a lot of damage because they have a lot of upgrades. For example, here this armor, this armor upgrade. So yeah, um, here are many oil on this map, which, which we are going to capture for a lot of cash, to build a lot of lot of auroras and troops. Okay, uh, more missile defenders. So defenders are awesome. Special forces here. Search and destroy. Ready for action. Okay. Enabling laser sights. The thing with the laser lock is if you have one missile defender here in the back, but he is in the same team, you can laser lock all the way through the units. 
because he has no laser lock on the units and he can select the units again with the laser lock. Now I can easily choose another laser lock while I have my laser lock on and this gives you the possibility to have very fast laser lock and this goes boom 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 and you are just through all those units as you saw. So this is a very good strategy. Have your missile defender in the team, move him to the bottom left corner and then just shoot the hell out of your missile defenders. This also works perfectly online and I recommend to use this online. I have the feeling a few people don't know the strategy but it's uh, very effective. So all those Peloton tanks are gone and uh, now the last bunker is going to fall very quickly. I'm going to build another supply here, another... Uh, I'm upgrading my reactor I mean. And I'm building a few troops here for the defense. Okay, the bunker is cleared. Our drag is being captured by me. Okay, the good thing here, we have three buildings to reset this weapon timer. Use them wisely. Then you can have the chance that those um, super weapons are never going to hit you whatsoever. We also have a few snipers here on the map. Um, we need to be very careful of them because right now I'm only using sniper uh, infantry units and snipers are very good against infantry units as we know. So those snipers can be very very annoying. Um, I'm not going to build my strategy center yet. I'm going to build it once I have the bridge captured. Because once you have built your strategy center, the attack waves will increase. So be careful when building your strategy center. Always have a good defense up. Otherwise, do not build a strategy, strategy center. Okay, all the tanks are gone. One lonely getting tank. It's also all gone. Here on the top is the sniper. And also, she's going to attack us with two demo bikes once we are here at the supplies. Building an EMP Patriot here just to have something against those units. Because she likes to attack through this flank. And there's Sniper. My units need to move out of the position because the Sniper is very annoying. New construction. Also, I have the feeling that those demo bikes are going to attack my dozer once I try to overrun the sniper. And yep, there they are. Now my units need to get the fuck out of this place. There's the sniper. Must kill him. Perfect, and now he's dead. Okay, with the sniper gone, I have now the free range to build a supply center here. Cash crates. Good, um, this EMP is actually very important. It can disable all the incoming pedal tanks, all the incoming rocket buggies and everything what's coming coming there. Oh and there's the attack. I didn't notice it. Do we have enough to defend against all of this? Keep him busy. 
Okay, the only problem here are those dragon tanks. Okay, the mixer there. So I need to build my Avengers now. But this is easily done. Uh, not building it here. I'm going to build it here on the top. Because I want to build all of my airfields here in this position. Okay, all those buildings are captured. That's good. There's one more factory. Position here on the left is captured. Now we have a nice position to defend against to defend ourselves against all those incoming attacks. We're just taking care of this situation. Once we have our Avengers, we will have a good defense against Nyx. Okay, also capturing all of those Alderics. Those are very important. Okay, going to repair this Alderic. Okay, those supplies are empty. Okay. This was the first mix. Shoot it down. Targeting cursors set. Got my missile Have a job for me. Got my missile and we can build snipers. Snipers are perfect for us. And this here is not so perfect. I don't want to lose this Avenger. Uh, and I lost it. Wasted cash. Was of course very very newbie. Okay, I'm doing the trick with the missile defenders again. You can also see this is a little bug here if you're doing this trick. Then the blink here will will stay. Looks very funny. It's just a perfect uh, trick. Always use it. It's just so perfect. Okay, good. All those units here. All those buildings here are captured. Those units don't stand chance against everything was what I have here. I can I'll start building my airfields? And I hope this strategy is going to work, which I have in mind. Okay, this tunnel can be a problem if I'm not careful enough. Because there are many units coming out of this tunnel, or maybe not. Today, today they don't want to get out of this tunnel. Interesting. Also try to lose uh, not so many Avengers. They are so expensive. Don't lose them. The Avengers will... Uh, will be parked here on the cliff. It's a perfect uh, defense against those uh, mix. There goes the first mix down, so as you can see, this p position here is just perfect. 
I'm also going to place a few troops there. Because sometimes Paladin tanks are going to this place. And if you don't have anything against those, your Avengers will be lost forever. Need a point, man? We'll take it from here. Search and destroy. Yeah. I'm saving a little bit money right now, but this has a reason. So I can build my Auroras. Which is very important to have a lot of cash then. Okay, my, my rangers are going on a little suicide mission here. I can capture those oil directs. And sending a few Avengers there to the spot. Very important that you have Avengers Avengers there. That's all gone. Only thing which needs to be destroyed is now this tunnel. Once the tunnel is gone, we have a good chance against um, everything here. And there's a sniper sitting in the bunker, so be careful there. Good, that's all gone. Sending a few Avengers also here to the uh, left spot where the bridge is. Now the mix are only going to attack the Oldrex. And the good thing is we have those Avengers here, so those mix have no chance at all. I can also build now an EMP Patriot here if I want, and I will do this. Uh, no, I don't want to do this, because this will attract the attention of the mix, and I then I have to put Avengers here too. Uh, no, so no EMP Patriots here, just pure infantry. Infantry is just enough against all of this. What I will do is... Uh, no, not building a supply center there, but sending my Chinox there to the spot. Uh, few Chinox are going here to the right. Okay. <coughs> and now the only thing I need to do is building airfields. Many, many airfields. Uh, wherever it is possible. On this map we have a huge problem, because this map doesn't like airfields. So we need to build, uh, so we make, need to make free space. Also, I, I also don't like the sniper in this building, so he must go out of this game. Some effort there. I want to blow something up. Let's pop some tanks. Sure thing. I want to blow something up. Fire it. Let's get to work. Okay. Getting for enemy aircraft. And there goes the another Avenger. Aircraft. Cool. Targeting cursors set. Let's get to work. Tomahawk systems online. Transporting cruise missile. Hope the sniper dies. Yeah, perfect. 
One sniper is also here in this spot. And I think one sniper should be here on the ground. No. There was one sniper, but no, it's not. There is the sniper. There is the sniper. Scanning for enemy aircraft. Advancing. Any more projects? Special forces here. Meet your new owner. Okay, now I'm going to build my strategy center. Bring on the scaffolding. Because now I'm going to build all of those mix. Uh over alphas, I mean. Mix, yeah. <laughs> also I don't know why my frame rate is so low. There's really no reason for the frame rate to be so low. Another good thing is I have a lot of cash and a few airfields, so I can instantly yeah. build, build Aurora this. Alphas. A lot of Aurora Alphas. Okay, I, I could also destroy all of those buildings here, but I'm lazy today, so I'm not going to destroy all of those buildings. The space here on the bottom must be enough. At least I hope so. Perfect. More airfields for the USA. Okay, I could also build a lot of super weapons, but I think super weapons are just boring. Okay, to be fair, those Aurora Alphas are not better than super weapons. Um, but I think Aurora Alphas have more micro in it than super weapons. And we are the super weapon generals, so why not build super weapons? Um, I mean Aurora Alphas. My ranger is humping the bridge. He's not going down to the to the oil derrick. So very stupid ranger. Not getting laid, humping the bridge. <sighs> okay. Um. With the strategy center, I will choose the bombardment strategy, so my aura alphas do more damage. And then I'm going to blow General Link's base up. Hope there's one more effort to go. Uh, no. This map here is just so damn blocked. I cannot build anything here at all. This is so stupid. Okay, the only thing, only thing we need to do now is building our raw alphas. We don't need uh, supply drop zones because we have so many oil directs. Oil directs are more than enough. Okay, finally, our ranger arrived to capture the oil direct. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's lagging because I'm uploading a video to YouTube. Um, this could be the reason. I apologize for this bad lag. This is really uh, it's really annoying you with the lag. But I hope my commentary is making it worth for you to watch it, because otherwise this video would be a pain to watch with all this lag. Okay, I'm now waiting for a few more auroras, and then I'm going to blow up all three command centers at the same time. I need <coughs> three auroras Radar for each command center. Aurora in flight. 
And then a few more rows for all the idle dozers. Uh, when you play online, go to the options and disable this option. I really recommend to disable this option because if you have this option on, uh, there's just one rebel needed in rebel ambush to, this, uh, to shoot at this airfield. Your Aurora Alpha will go up into the air and shoot on the rebel and destroy all of your buildings. This happens a lot of time. And so I recommend to disable this option if you want to save your nerves for something more important than this stupid retardness. Radar won't pick us up. Pushing the envelope. Aurora in flight. Radar won't pick us up. Okay, good. My Aurora Alphas are now in the team. So I can select them while I'm at the base of General Lang. This is very important. Always use the uh, shortcuts. Now we go boom, 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 boom. Uh, where are the dozers? Dozer, 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 dozer. Dozer, dozer. If we have luck, then all of the dozers and buildings will be gone in no time. Dozer is gone, this dozer is gone, this dozer is about to be gone. There is the Aurora Alpha. And this was a fail? Uh, was it? No, it was not a fail. It looked like a fail, so all the command centers are now gone. And there are no dozers left. Now we can attack the important buildings. So two auroras for each full factory. This one is threatened, so this one only needs one. This needs two. Barracks only need one aurora. One here, one here. Radar won't pick us up. Here. Breaking the sound barrier. One here. One aurora for an airfield. Supersonic aircraft. Breaking the sound barrier. Pushing the envelope. One here. She also destroyed her own airfield there. And this should be all about it. Normally, uh, there's a dozer. There's a dozer. And there was a dozer. Nice. Also, the command center scaffold is gone. Uh, this scaffold here needs to be gone. So, I hope this was her last dozer. Barracks is still alive somehow. Okay. And there's still a do there's still a dozer? Interesting. Well, it should be the last dozer. At least I hope so. Okay, um, now for the super weapons. Scudstorm needs no power, so Scudstorm also do the most of um, does the most of the damage. The Scudstorm will go first. Hope one Aurora is enough to also destroy the scaffold and boom, no, and ah, was enough. And the strategy worked. We just defeated her in 28 minutes. Video will be a little longer because of the lag. I think the video will be about 40 minutes. Stupid lag. But what counts is the strategy worked. And this is perfect. Also, this uh, symbol there means um, Tigress, just for your information. Okay, good. So, this was my fight Super Weapon versus General Ling. If you want to see more videos of me, 
cnchg.weebly.com, links in the description below. And you can also check out my playlists here on my YouTube channel. They are also all videos sorted. And yeah, this was your CNCHD. Peace out.